Pancreatic cancer is a malignant transformation of normal pancreatic tissue into cancerous tissue, and it can be a fairly aggressive form of cancer. Some of the symptoms associated with pancreatic cancer include jaundice, abdominal pain, back pain, weight loss, and fatigue. Although, in many cases, there are really no telltale signs for this cancer, and it can remain undetected in the body for a considerable period of time, and consequently, a lot of patients present with metastatic cancer because of the lack of specific symptoms. So the evaluation of pancreatic cancer involves a few different techniques. First of all, uh, history and physical examination is important. We do a blood test, which is called a CA199, which is a tumor marker that detects pancreatic cancer. In terms of imaging, there are a various number of modalities that can detect the cancer. CT scan, an MRI, or an endoscopic ultrasound are routinely used to detect pancreatic cancer. Occasionally, when we want to stage the pancreatic cancer and make sure that there is no metastases, we have patients undergo diagnostic laparoscopy, which is essentially keyhole surgery with two or three ports that are placed into the abdomen to look for metastatic disease that is often undetected on CT scan or other forms of imaging. The treatment options for pancreatic cancer pretty much depend on what the cross-sectional imaging and the endoscopic ultrasound show. There are typically three preclinical pancreatic cancer stages. The first is resectable pancreatic cancer. This is a stage in which the tumor is not involving any of the blood vessels surrounding the pancreas, and the tumor is confined to the pancreas and has not metastasized. These patients will undergo surgery first, followed by chemotherapy on the back end. In the second stage, which is called borderline resectable pancreatic cancer, the tumor has not metastasized to other organs. However, it is involving the vasculature surrounding the pancreas. So in order for the surgeon to remove the tumor, we administer chemotherapy prior to the surgery to shrink the tumor off of those blood vessels so the patient can successfully undergo complete removal of the tumor. Following that, the patient receives chemotherapy after the surgery. So surgery in that scenario is sandwiched between chemotherapy. The final staging of pancreatic cancer is the metastatic stage in which surgery is not an option for these patients. These patients receive chemotherapy as their definitive therapy. Uh, and so that sometimes can include clinical trials or other novel agents. At UPMC, we've developed a multidisciplinary approach to tackling pancreatic cancer. The patient with pancreatic cancer sees all relevant specialties related to their disease in one day. They're able to see a surgical oncologist, a medical oncologist, a gastroenterologist, a radiation oncologist, a nutritionist, and a palliative care expert in order to get a full comprehensive view of their disease and their treatment strategy. At UPMC, we understand that pancreatic cancer is an aggressive form of cancer and that our mission is to improve the quality of life and survival of our patients. From minimally invasive surgical technology that improves and enhances patient recovery to the use of novel chemotherapy agents in the neoadjuvant and the adjuvant setting and the presence and availability of clinical trials for every stage of this disease, our mission to our patients is to improve their survival and our message to them is simple. We are with you for the long haul.